before we get into the video, let's talk about the neighborhood and what surrounds it. This home is located in the Anaconda neighborhood where tree-lined streets are filled with single-family ranch-style homes, most of which were built between the 1950s and 1970s. Homes in this area typically range from 1,100 to 1,600 square feet of living space with lot sizes between 5,000 to 8,000 square feet. Nearby, you'll find Anaconda Park for outdoor activities and the Whitwood Town Center just minutes away. Local schools include Orchardale Elementary, Hillview Middle School, and California High School. Hey, thank you for visiting our Living in Southern California channel. My name is Willie. And I'm Anna. And today we are out in East Whittier. We are in the Anaconda Park neighborhood showcasing this fully remodeled home Anna, tell us about this house. This home is a three bedroom, two bath home. The living space is 1,600 square feet of living space and the lot size is 6,000 square feet. Let's go take a look. All right, folks, so as we walk into this house, this house is located out in East Whittier. It's the Anaconda Park neighborhood. This house is a 1,600 square foot home. And as soon as you walk into it, you have the living room. Now this living room here is, I'm gonna say about, uh, 10 by 13 square feet. It's an open space concept, so you have the living room, dining room, and kitchen. Let me just focus here on the living room first. So it has some canned lights up above. It's been freshly painted, smells fresh. Let me just kind of give you a tour real quick. So that's the dining room and the kitchen, and it's all open, which is really cool. The feel inside this house feels big for it being a 1600 square foot home. Uh, it feels comfy. So there you go, this is the uh, living room. It has these laminate wood floors going throughout the entire house. And like I said, it's freshly painted. New base moldings. All the door, window moldings, frames, they're new. So there you go, this house has been fully remodeled. This is the small living room. All right, so right to the left of this living room, and the kitchen is a small area. It's a dining room that has a nice picture window with lots of natural light coming in. This area here, I'm gonna say is about an eight by eight. So it's not very big, but let me tell you that round uh, table there works perfect because you have enough space around that table to move around. This holds uh, four people. It's a small uh, eating area, but it works fine. And it also has the uh, baseboards, new laminate floor. All the windows in this house are also double pane, brand new. So there you go, that's the dining room. Okay folks, so here's the kitchen. Now I like what they did here. They actually opened up the walls around this kitchen. As you can see there, that there, that post is going to be a post that's holding up a beam up above, holding up the roof, so it can't be taken out. But I think they still did a pretty good job of opening up the kitchen. I'm sure that at one point, there was also a wall up above that's been taken out. And I like this peninsula here, it's different. It's sort of a small L-shaped peninsula with quartz countertop. I like the pendant lighting up above. It gives it some nice, a nice aesthetic to it. Here's the kitchen. So here's the, the peninsula. And I think this peninsula will hold about six people uh, comfortably. It's a great place to kind of hang out, have a nice spread there, have your guests, you know, enjoy that side of the kitchen. Here are some more cabinets. You have the uh, refrigerator that uh, has that built-in look. And then you have this pantry. Let me open this for you. So this pantry here, it's a good size, plenty of space. You have some shelving there for your canned goods. And right next to it, to the right, is a stacked washer and dryer. Uh, I don't know, let me, what do you think about this location here in the kitchen? Drop me a comment, just curious. I don't know if it's pretty efficient in the kitchen, but I guess uh, that's what they, uh, they have here. And you have a cabinet there for some, you know, when you're doing your laundry for some linen space, towels, whatnot. As I turn around here, you have a door that leads out to the side yard. You have more cabinet space, more uh, quartz countertops. 
As you can see, it has a stainless steel sink. I love that water fixture there. Uh, the backsplash looks like some type of a, I guess it's going to be some kind of a granite one by ones. You have a stainless steel stove, stainless steel dishwasher, and I think this is a spice rack. Yeah, it sure is. That's pretty cool. I like that. Nice little spice rack. It's been freshly painted. You have some recessed lights up above. And you have another area. Let me turn around here for you. You have another area here where they have another uh, eating area. So uh, that's the kitchen. Like the way they opened the whole kitchen area up, they removed the walls. Again, it's only a 1,600 square foot home, but since it's opened up, the whole space is open to the living room, kitchen, dining room. It just gives you that feel of it being much larger than it actually is in square feet. They did a good job. It's fully remodeled. So that there again is the kitchen. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure to subscribe and click that little bell so that you are notified every single time we do a brand new video. That's right. No se les olvide que también hablamos español. So make sure to pick up that phone. Give us a phone call. Send us an email, a text message, or even a lightning bolt. Whichever way you'd like to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Whittier, California. Here's the primary bedroom. This bedroom here, I'm going to say, is about 11 by 14. It's a pretty good size. It's been freshly painted, has recessed lights. Now all the windows throughout this entire house are new, they're double pane. This primary bedroom is actually an ensuite. It has a bathroom. It has the laminate floors, as you can see, new baseboards. Let me take you into this bathroom. This whole house has been fully refurbished, remodeled. It has a double sink vanity. It's a great color with double sinks quartz countertops as you can see there it has a walk-in new uh, shower right at the corner with new porcelain tile walls and it has a custom inlay as you can see there shower head soap box there and a small soap box and some stone like uh, I would say river rock looks pretty good and then here to the side you have the toilet so there you go here is that's the primary then as you step out you have a small walk-in closet let me take you there and there you go it's a decent size has some shelving and let me just show you the whole room itself again and again this is pretty much remodeled and they did a pretty good job. The workmanship is good. There you go. Here's bedroom number two. This bedroom here I'm gonna say is about uh, nine by 11 feet. It has new carpet, new baseboards. It's been freshly painted. Has a brand new ceiling fan. And as I turn around here, the closet is there at the corner. And the windows throughout the house, as you can see there are double pane new windows. That is bedroom Number two. All right, folks, so this is the hallway bathroom. It's been fully remodeled. It has a new tub. The walls around the tub are porcelain. They're custom porcelain, and I, I like that inlay, that tile inlay. Let me take you inside there. It's a glass tile that gives it that illusion as if water's running. I, I like that detail. Has a small soap box there, as you can see. Glass doors. The vanity is a new vanity with a quartz countertop. The floors in here are a custom porcelain. And again, it's been fully remodeled, freshly painted, recessed lights. There you go. And finally, it's bedroom number three, the last of the bedrooms. And this is going to be the smallest bedroom throughout the house. I'm gonna say this bedroom is like nine by 10. It has new carpet, new baseboards. Fresh paint, new ceiling fan up above. It also has, I like that uh, detail there. It has a custom sitting area, a bench, and I think this works as storage also. Let's take a look. It does, and it's pretty deep actually. That is cool. 
All right, and then you have your closet there at the corner. This is a smaller closet, as you can see there. A bit smaller, but it works for a small room. And so there you go, that's bedroom number three. So I wanted to point out one more thing. Right next to this bathroom is that closet. And typically in these type of ranch style homes, that closet holds the furnace, the AC furnace. And I love that in this instance, they took it out. They added some shelving, which in a smaller house is very important, more space. And I'm gonna assume that the furnace is now in the attic. Great idea, just wanted to point that out. There you go. So here's the rear of the house. This is the backyard. And as I turn around, here's the uh, two car garage. And it looks like that roof, not sure if you can distinguish that through the camera, but it looks like the roof is brand new at the garage and at the house. As you can see, there's double pane windows throughout the entire house, as you can see there. And let me take you back here. And now this looks like, that's the AC system. I'm gonna say this is probably a three ton AC unit. And right next to it here is the water heater. I'm sure that's what this is. Let's open this up. It sure is. Looks like an older water heater, but in great shape. And then we have the covered patio, which has been freshly painted. Looks like we also have some new cement, as you can see there. And then there you have, that roof is definitely new. I can tell from this angle now. And you have an area back here where they have a jacuzzi or a spa. And let me take you, let's go look at the electrical panel. Those are always important. Looks like the drop, and the drop is going to be that up there, the electrical drop. Let's take a look at the panel. Always good to check out the panel, see what condition. So this is not the original panel, it's a newer panel and there's still some breaker uh, spaces there, which is good. It's always good to check out the panel, make sure you know what you're getting into before you buy. All the windows are double pane. And as I pan around again, there's a patio. This house is located in East Whittier. It's the Anaconda Park area. This house is 1,600 square feet. Most of the houses out this way are gonna be ranch style houses in great shape and Lots of tree-lined streets. There you go. So the asking price for this house is 948,000. If you'd like to know more about this property, simply reach out to us at the number down below. And if you'd like to know about other properties that are on our channel, simply check out our YouTube channel. And if you're thinking about selling or buying, make sure to reach out to us. Let us make the process easier for you. That's right, we'll talk to you soon.